Hey guys, Johnny here from TechMajesty.com. Today I'll be showing you how to permanently factory unlock your Samsung Galaxy S10 step by step using an unlock code. This method will also work to unlock the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and S10e. We can unlock your phone regardless of any outstanding balances, financing, contracts, blacklist status, etc. The unlock will not affect your warranty, it will increase the resale value of your phone, and you'll be able to use the phone with any GSM carrier of your choice. All you need in order to unlock the phone is an unlock code and a non-allowed SIM card which is basically a SIM card that's not from your original carrier. So let's begin. The first thing we will need is the 15 digit IMEI number which you can get by going to the dialer of the phone and dialing star pound zero six pound. This will give you the 15 digit IMEI. So now that we have the IMEI number of the phone we will go on the computer and open the internet browser to go to techmajesty.com. Once we are on this website, we will go to the Samsung Unlock Code section. Then we will choose the Samsung Galaxy S10 since that's the phone we're unlocking today. Then for the carrier option, you will choose the carrier your phone is locked to. My phone is locked to AT&T, so that's the carrier I'll be choosing. Then in the IMEI number field, you will enter the 15 digit IMEI number that we got in the beginning of the video. After that, you have these three optional services you can get. The first option will allow you to use your phone on Verizon. The second option is for the bloatware removal which will remove all carrier branding from your phone. And then the third option is for express processing to get your unlock done in one to two hours. These three are all optional services and you can choose them if you'd like. After that you will choose the add to cart and then go through the checkout process to complete your order. Once you complete the checkout, you'll receive an email within the stated time frame with your phone's unlock code. The email will look like this and say order and closed. The email will contain your unique unlock code and the full instructions to complete the unlock. So now that we have the unlock code, let's move on to entering it into the phone. In order for the unlock prompt to come up, we will insert a non-allowed SIM into the phone. So let's go ahead and first remove the SIM tray from the phone. Once you remove the SIM tray, go ahead and insert the non-allowed SIM card. My phone is from AT&T, so I'm going to be inserting a T-Mobile SIM card. So you can see here. Now as soon as I insert the SIM tray back into the phone, the phone will ask for the network unlock code. So as you can see, the phone is asking for the network unlock code. So now I'm going to go ahead and enter the unlock code that I received from Tech Majesty. Alright, so now that I've entered it, I'll click on the unlock button. And there you go. Network unlock successful. So that means this phone is now permanently factory unlocked. So guys, it's as easy as that to unlock your Samsung phone and to use it with any GSM carrier of your choice in the US or internationally. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching.